What? What do you want? Nothing. Are you always this tense? What did you say? Key, obviously you are. Dude, you've got to stop staring at me. I will, relax. I'm just trying to figure you out. Learn to take it easy. Yeah, sure. I'll learn to do that for a stranger who's being a dick to me. You don't even know me. I have a picture. It's not good. I'm interested in your story. They're not making me tell it. Well, I think they're trying to give you the space to do it on your own time. It doesn't seem like it. Look, no one's going to force you to talk. They wouldn't even if they could. Right, because you're tough and mighty. Exactly. So, please, don't mess with me. (laughs) I'm Kai. You're not telling me your name, are you? Nope. You are a dick. Look, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Divorce happens. I mean, whether you cheated or were faithful, it happens. Yeah, I know the whole speech. Save it for somebody else, or here's a better idea. Don't. The world doesn't want to hear it. Just open your ears and the group will show you the way to deal with your issues. I'm going to stop you there. I don't need you to talk to me. And you're not my friend. Mm, Sure, but it also doesn't sound like you have many who would offer you an ear. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm not in the mood to listen to another douchebag today. Alright, alright. I'll back off. Uh, actually, do you really want to know? You've got a hypothetical gun to my head, so I guess I will. I'd love to hear it. I've had a week from hell. My boss has groped me three times, and I've got evicted. And now I'm living with my mom. And I've got five separate parking tickets today. Is this going to take all day? It's just that I have another person who wants to tell me why they're having a bad week, too. (laughs) The, The blinds in my room lets in every possible light. And my baby boy has a toothache, but guess what? I'm the poor bitch who hasn't got health insurance. Uh, I wouldn't call yourself a bitch around me. I mean, I'm not the brightest, so I might make it your nickname. (laughs) Yeah, I should not enroll for comedy classes, should I? Unless you thought I was funny. Anyway, I have to watch him cry because Mommy couldn't get a proper job to look after him. Oof, I am truly depressed now. Is there a rope-selling shop around here? Oh, it gets worse. I've got $14 in my bank account and ping! Yeah, I, I didn't hear a ping. Netflix has taken that because Mommy forgot to cancel her subscription. Wow, that's a lot of problems. I have one question, though. Will you kill yourself if I laugh at your problems? Oh, and it gets fucking worse. On Sunday, before the worst week of my life, I caught my husband in bed with my best friend. Oof, she sounds horrible. But is she hot? She sounds like it. And I might like to date her. (laughs) Well, and apparently they're going to marry each other, which means I'm getting a divorce. Oh, and because I lashed out at my ex and his girl, a judge has ordered me to go to this pointless divorce group as a way to get me accustomed to my new life as a single, unfuckable mother. So is now the time to laugh at you. Look, I'll be back. I need a drink before I lash out even more. Meanwhile, guess who's a millionaire and is refusing to pay me child support? My ex, even though he drives a fucking sports car. Are we still on that hay train? Don't initiate the subject unless you can take the punishment. Let me know your full name. Why? Do you want to make my problems worse? No, there's never a night that could defeat Sunrise. Uh, Say that again in English, please. There was never a problem that could defeat Hope. I can help you. And why would a weirdo like you help a stranger? I don't know. Maybe he has a heart? Ha! Men don't have hearts. Yeah, my ex used to say that too. I guess it's true after all. (laughs) I'm kidding. Look, if you can't trust, no one will trust you back. You're a weirdo who's talked to me for five minutes. And you want me to trust you? Dude, get the fuck out of here. Hey, I'm a good guy here. Please, tell me your name. I can help you. (sighs) It's Tamika Johnson. Not that you can help me. There. That wasn't so hard, was it? Why do I feel like I've seen you before? Uh, we go to the same divorce group. (laughs) Ha! Yeah, that must be it. (sighs) I better get my things and head home. Oh? You're not staying for round two? What's the point? It's not going to fix my life. Yeah, I guess not. I honestly don't think anything can. Actually, scratch that. I can't. You wanted to see me, boss? You never thought you'd see me again, did you? I for sure never wanted to see you either, but 
here I am, being stupid. You... what are you doing here? Oh, well, I own this company. As of... as of now. Hurrah! Let's celebrate with a dance. Or let's not, you can continue to glare at me. Yeah, that seems dull. You own a woman's clothing company? Uh, correction. My mom owned it, and it got transferred to me in her will. Wait, why are you sitting in the boss's chair? Where's my sleazeball of a boss? Sacked. Gone. Hopefully dead. I mean, you can't wish for those things, can you? Because of what I said the other night? Yes, and what 40 other women said about him. I wish I knew the truth about this a lot sooner. I would never have let anyone get subjected to some of the things I've heard. Would you have listened? I listened to you the other night, and took action to eliminate your issues. If that's not listening, then nothing is. Right. Sit down, please. So, are you trying to start something here? Would you find me sexy if I was? Uh, Please don't answer that. I'm starting to sound like your old boss. Are you? Well, what do you mean by start something? Are you trying to start a romantic relationship with me? You think I do it like this? Wait, am I handsome in this office? I've always considered myself quite ugly. And I'm not. Hurrah! Celebration dance time. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Boy, that was tiring. As a woman, I think you're right about the ugly thing. Tamika Johnson with the jokes. Yes! She's finally softening up. I can as quickly go back to the other side. Mm, tempting. Could you, though? <laughs> You're a cat, sure, but... I'm not trying to start something. Relax. Then I'll go back to my desk. Office. What? Oh, someone promoted you. There's this bastard of a boss who wants you to look after your son. Oh. Yeah, I know. He's the worst. I hate him, too. Okay, I'm not going to sleep with you because you've given me a promotion. Okay, well, I'm depressed. Well, not about not being able to sleep with you. No, about you thinking I drop my standards to be with you. You're gross. (laughs) Anyway, I had nothing to do with the promotion thing. But you're the boss. I'm the owner. I don't run this company. Oh. You're the hardest worker in the company. Everyone speaks lyrically about you. Do they? But I always talk trash behind their backs. Ooh, I like this chick. She's my kind of woman. High five. No, actually, high tens. (laughs) (laughs) Seriously, though, I'll never be your woman. (laughs) Enjoy your new charge. And I'll see you at the divorce club. Don't be late. I gave that up. I couldn't afford it. But you just got a new promotion. Okay, now I really know what you're up to. No, you don't. Bye. We're not going to date. And you know that, right? I'm not kidding. I'm not interested in dating you. Yes, you are. I just know it. Whatever. I know what you did. And you've come to thank me with a hug. Ravish me, my darling. Waste not. Dude, what are you doing? I was in the moment, so sue me. Jeez. I've come to tell you to stop it. Mmm, I don't think paying for a doctor to look after your son is a crime. So that was you too? Jesus. Okay, what were you talking about? My old landlord paid me back three months' rent, and I know you had something to do with it. Mm, maybe. Would you kiss me if I lied and said I did? Hint, none of us want that. Did you? Maybe. Did you? <laughs> yes, you're welcome. And boy, I'm amazing. I am. Why did you do it? I told you. There was never a problem that could defeat hope. Stop talking in riddles. Why are you helping me? Ugh, I like you. I knew it. I just fucking knew it. I like the fact that you have a big mouth. What? I love the fact that you're hopeless, because it makes me feel proud about my life choices. I mean this as a compliment to myself, but you knew that, so... Okay, I'd watch it, buddy. I love the fact that I get to show my human side to the world. Not by choice. Not by choice. Oh, there's this clause in my inheritance where I have to be nice to troubled people and strain and be their handsome savior. And you fitted that bill, amazingly. Okay. Ignore the handsome savior and the fitted bill bit. I do have to do nice things to people and... Oh. Oh, I did. You're not joking, are you? Uh, I could send you a copy of my will. Oh. Okay, cool. (laughs) Look, you don't have to speak to me if you don't want to. Here. Here's my card, and if you ever need anything else, call me.
Wait. What? Have you fallen madly in love with the handsome Prince of a Thunderstorm? It's a new nickname I'm trying out. Do you like it? I'm going to hate saying this, but you actually are handsome. And I didn't want to say that to you. Am I handsome? Have you fantasized about putting your lips on this bountiful mouth? I wouldn't blame you. I mean, who the frickin' hell would? I'm awesome. I think you're handsome. Are you after my money? Because you can't have it. I mean, I'm not too fond of money. I mean, but bears, I like. I like running while they chase you. Yes, yes. I want all of your money. <laughs> would you skip this divorce group and go on a date with me? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that is the most horrifying invitation to date ever. Romance ninja me. Well... I am, and you don't have to look so disgusted about the idea. Sorry, it's just... I didn't do what I did to get a date with you. Well, this is the icing on top. I'm hot, and you're something unusual. You mean funny, handsome, excellent, the greatest? You know I'm not going to stop unless you stop me. Sure, you're all of those things to me. Hey, you know I am. So say it. <laughs> What do you say we go on one date, just to get to know each other? And the cherry on the cake is, I promise I'll even laugh at some of your jokes. And if I choose not to move forward with another one, will you accept that? I'd have a tantrum, but yeah. Tantrum? What? You're a rich man. I could never have to work again if I nail you down. <laughs> one date. One. It's a deal? Yes! Let's do this romance shit, Kai. Ah, what perfect words to start our dating life. Wow, what a lovely restaurant. You think so? I take all my worst dates here. Oh, no. I guess you're that too. Prick. <laughs> That's a, an attractive necklace. Oh, thanks. My grandfather gave it to me before he died. Your grandfather? Jeffrey died two months ago in a hit-and-run accident. Oh, Right. Why right? Because uh, I heard rumors of it in the office. Oh, well, before you ask, they didn't catch the person who did it. Right. Why is your mood suddenly changed? Uh, no reason. It's my stomach. I, I need the bathroom. Okay, but you should know this isn't a good start to our dating life. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, listen, I just got a call from my CEO. There's an emergency board meeting in 50 minutes. I, I need to leave. Really? It yes. Then show me your caller ID. <sighs> What's going on? Do you not want to do this anymore? No, I, I don't. I've realized I'm too attractive for you. I am. Hey, behave yourself. But I am. Why won't you listen to me? You're acting weird to deflect. I know this because I was doing the same thing at the divorce meetup. Everything is fine. I just wish you were prettier. <laughs> I mean, could, could I book you for plastic surgery? And is Michael Jackson an option you'd like to look like? You're one step away from a slap. I'm joking. So I'll say and not mean it. Sit down, please. Sit! <clears throat> I'm ready when you are. Ready for what? I'm ready for you to say how beautiful I look tonight. Ah, right. You have a lot of acne. Please don't list my defects. Lavish me with praise. You know, they have invented makeup in our universe. Right? Or was I dreaming that? If you remember correctly, I didn't exactly start today wanting a date. Well, you could have at least made an effort. I mean, there is a world out there. Or are we now living in an apocalyptic world? That could be fun. Let's see. Who will I kill first? It's gotta be my mom's ex-partner. Stop it! <laughs> I'm just saying, it would explain why you've suddenly given up on life. <laughs> You're so stupid. <clears throat> I'm not too sure I'm ready to tell it. You are. Plus, I need to post it on my Facebook wall so people can laugh at you. Ha ha. I wasn't joking. Take me serious, woman. So, we dated from high school until he went to college. 
Yeah, I'm just picturing a lot of teenage sex. <laughs> and images of hairy backsides have entered my brain. Oh, go, please, God, make it stop at once. Ooh, an image of a hippo eating. Oh, no. It's popped out of the water with the gazelle head. Oh, it's gross. <laughs> Anyway, then I dropped out of college, and he did too, and we fell back into it. Random question. Was the sex great? I'll leave you if you say it was. Ooh, say it is. I want to do it badly. Jesus. What? Anyway, during that time, he developed his dating app, and Tinder bought it. And you had his baby too? Yep, and now he's a millionaire who tries not to pay me child support. I should add. I spoke to my lawyers, and they filed a lawsuit on your behalf. Why did you do that? Oh, that's not even the bad part. Apparently, if you win your child support, the money goes to me. So, yeah, I'm conning you. Be serious. You really thought I'd allow a man to treat my potential future wife like that? I mean, I'd do it, but no one else. <laughs> How did you do it? I'd have had to sign something for that to happen, right? Well, you signed something this morning at the office without looking at it. And that was the paperwork? Yep, I know. I'm a crafty little bastard. Well, luckily for you, I know you had a good intention for doing it. Well, we'd have to disagree on that. I just wanted to see some drama. I mean, I was hoping you'd get angry now and storm off, or at least throw your drink at me. Or maybe if I called you a bad name... Ooh, that felt good. All tingly. Do you have to go? Nah, it's just my mom letting me know my kid's in bed. Damn, I was hoping this was it and you had to go. You're an awful dater, by the way. I'll have bad dreams after this. Oh yeah, sure I am. So, you were telling me about your family? Well, what about yours? I've done most of the heavy work here. You do some now. Yeah, I have no story worth telling. Well, yeah, you do. Uh, I don't. All right. Ah, you were at the divorce group. Why would you be there if you have no story to tell me? Hmm, you're clever. You know it. So, continue. I'm getting a divorce. Well, I gathered that. Why is what I want to know. I was unfaithful to my wife. Oh. Yeah, I'm like your jerk of a husband. You sound like you are. <laughs> Look, I get it if you don't want this to continue. My grandfather always used to say there's a story to every action. Right. You've done it again. You look like a train wreck every time I mention my grandpa. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm lovely. And there is a story behind my divorce. It's just not pretty. And that's what I'm counting on. Spill. Were you a sex addict? Eh, a little. And yeah, moronic. And a drunkard. Dude. Yeah, the biggest dick in this room. Before I told you my story, I always thought that was you. How did things change? <laughs> Look, you have to forgive yourself. Yeah, but I hurt a lot of people. Well, yeah, but you've risen. This is the new you. The old you's gone. My old shadows still follow me. I could ask my shiny new shadow to fight them off for you, if you'd like. <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think they're strong enough. I think they are now. I'll think about it. Okay, good. What? Why are you looking at me like that? I just think you're handsome. Your face is like that Michelangelo statue. You're not getting sex tonight. I was You know what? Forget it. <laughs> Where are we? We're going to my house. Well, I know that, but what town are we in? Oh. Lipton. Oh, so this is where... Yep, where my gramps died. Did you hear about it on the news? Yeah, c kind of, yes. <laughs> mm. You're so weird. How so? Well, every time there's a mention of death, you go ghost-like. It's like it's your kryptonite. I think you'll find that that's you. And also, I don't do that. Oh, really? When I talked about my dog dying of cancer at the restaurant... Were you okay with that? Well, I'd have to be pretty heartless if the thought of a puppy dying brought me happiness, wouldn't I? Have you ever lost anyone? 
Yes, I lost a whole evening dating somebody ugly. Oh wait, hang on. That was you. You can deflect all you like with your jokes, but I see you. Well, I don't want us to get too deep. Actually, you do. I just think you're scared for some unknown reason. I'm not scared. You're scared if you reveal too much. I might run away from you, but I wouldn't. Well, not yet anyway. I need to figure you out first, and then God willing, I'll do that. I'm not good for you. Let me make that decision for myself. I'm not. I'm a waste of space that no one would piss on even if I was on fire. Sorry, I don't listen to people who talk crap about themselves. I only want positive vibes, no negatives. <sighs> Look, I like you, Kai, and this has potential. You've shown me enough of that today. I want to stay connected with you. That's not possible. Well, I'm setting my mind on you. I'll get you. This is me. I should go. Come in for a drink. Come on, you're not that kind of girl. I'm every woman. Whitney, baby. I think you'll find it's Chaka Khan. I want you. Look, tonight's been great, but it ends here. There won't be another night. I could change your... <coughs> uh, <coughs> what the fucking fuck? Uh, I, I need to go. Bye. Are you fucking kidding me? Mom, I puked on her. No, no, there's no way I'm going back to tell her the truth now. I I will do it. I, I just need some time to butter her up so she doesn't send me to jail at the end of this. Yes, I, I know. I deserve it. You say that all the time. <sighs> Look, I'll see her again soon. I, I'm sure. Seriously, you want me to go back there? Mom, you can't keep trying to blackmail me like this. Yes, I want my inheritance. No, I, I don't want you to report me to the police. So, I'll go back and talk to her. Yes, I'll... Uber. I wouldn't want history to repeat itself now, would I? Right. It's okay. I'll go back into the lion's den and butter her up. You won't tell her you were the driver that killed her gramps just yet. But wait until... 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 Until what, dummy? What could possibly make her not want to send you to jail? Until we fall in love? Yeah, I need to make her fall in love with me, and then... Yeah, 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 that, that's, that's what I'll do here. Look, uh, I owe you an explanation. When a hot girl agrees to date you, and hints there might be sex for you, you accept her on her doorstep. You do not puke on her at the thought of sleeping with her. She might still think you're attractive, but it's a fucking turnoff. Understood. I'm sorry. Now look, the moment's gone. But if you want to come in and turn me the hell on, I'd welcome it. What do you say? Um... Oh. Tell me you didn't just say that. I mean, I, I, I did, but, but... You know what? Bye. Wait, I... I want to turn you on. Good. You may enter. <laughs> 